Hi fellow DIYers! Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make these cute mini plants, planters, and crates. These plants are very cute. They can be given as gifts for your moms since Mother's Day is on the way or your uncles and aunties who like plants. I got the file bundle from Creative Fabrica. You can sign up for one month for only one dollar. I'll put the link in the description box below. I also got the high dome from Dollar Tree. So let's get started! First step is to download the file to your computer. Once downloaded, we have to upload the SVG files to Design Space. To do that, click Upload, Upload Image, Browse, then click the Mini Plants Planters folder, then download all the SVG files in each folder. To do that, click each folder and find a .svg file, and then click it, and then click Open. Then click Upload. Now that we have uploaded the soil or the dirt, we'll repeat this step until we get all the SVG files uploaded. Now when you click the Milk Crate folder, it will give you these two options, Machine Cut with Scoring Tool and Machine Cut without Scoring Tool. Now if you have a scoring stylus or a scoring wheel, I would suggest to click the first option which is Machine Cut with Scoring Tool. And if you don't have any scoring tool, you can always use the second option, which is machine cut without scoring tool. After we're done uploading all the SVG files that we need, we can now start adding them to Canvas. I'm going to upload them one by one, but if you're going to do them all at once, you can select all of them and add to your Canvas. Now, I'm going to start with the planters, so I'm going to click that and then add to Canvas. And while the file is still selected, click on Group. Now these two, we have to change the operation from Basic Cut to Score. So click Operation and then Score. Repeat this step to the other one. Then select these pieces and then click Attach. Click Make It. And then here I'm just moving the pieces for my 8.5 by 11 inches cardstock. Then click Continue. Then click medium cardstock for the material, and I always adjust the pressure to more. It's now time to add the soil to the canvas. So click upload, and then click the soil, and then add to canvas. I use these two for each plant. If you're planning to make all six of the plants, you can duplicate these by clicking duplicate five times. So click make it, and then click continue, and then click medium cardstock. Click the ZZ plant and then add to canvas. We don't have to do anything here unless you want to change the size. So click make it and then I'll change the material size to 8.5 by 11 inches because that's the size of my cardstock. And then I'll click continue and then medium cardstock. So click this Venus flytrap and then add to canvas. Now this file needs two different colors of cardstock, and while the file is still selected, click on Group. So I'm just going to move them here, and then click these lines from the Layers panel, and then change the operation from Basic Cut to Score, and then select them, and then Attach, and then click Make It. And since I'm going to use the 8.5 by 11 inches cardstock, I'm going to change the material size to 8.5 by 11 inches. And then click Continue. And then I'll select Medium Cardstock for my material. Now I'm going to upload the pothos. Click Add to Canvas. So we don't have to do anything here unless we want to change the size. So I'm going to click Make It. So click Continue, click Medium Cardstock, now click Monstera, and then Add to Canvas. We don't want to do anything here unless we want to change the size, so click Make It, and then change the material size to 8.5 by 11 inches, and then click Continue, and then click Medium Cardstock. Click the palm and then add to canvas. Again, we don't have to do anything here unless we want to change the size. So click make it 
And then here I'm just going to change the material size to 8.5 by 14 inches. For some reason, we don't have the 8.5 by 11 inches option from the drop down. And as we can see, the mat size has changed to the longer one. We can ignore that and still use the 12 by 12 inches mat and 8.5 by 11 inches cardstock because it will still cut within our material size. So click continue and then click medium cardstock. Click fern and then add to canvas. Again, we don't have to do anything unless we want to change the size. So click make it, change the material size to 8.5 by 11 inches and then click continue and then click medium cardstock. Click the mini crate and then add to canvas. Now on the layers panel, we need to click that and change the operation to score. And then select them and then click attach. And I'm planning to make two of these, so I'm going to click duplicate and then click make it. And then I'm going to change the material size to 8.5 by 11 inches and then click continue and then click medium cardstock. In this project, I'm going to use Aline's Tacky Glue. Now we have these three planters. And we're going to start with this one. So pre-fold the lines. Now this piece needs to be glued to this piece with a curve. So pre-fold the scored lines. So I'm going to use this handmade quilling tool to roll the plants. And if you want to watch the full tutorial on how to make a handmade quilling tool, I put the link in the description box below. So we need to connect these two circles. So insert the paper into that slit.
So this part is going to be the inside part of the palm. So we're going to start rolling from here. So I'm going to hot glue this to the base of my dome and put the mini plant in the middle and surround it with these moss. So I got this dome from Dollar Tree and it's approximately 5.7 by 3.6 inches. And our mini plant sizes range from 2.5 to 4 inches tall so they fit perfectly in it. I'm just going to use this heat gun to remove the stickers easily. Just wiping it with alcohol swab.
So I've decided to put a writing on the black part or the base of the dome, and I'll show you how I did it. So open your Design Space app, click text, and then I'll type in plant mom, but you can definitely use any other word or name. And then I'll choose Amore Hearts for my font. I got this from Creative Fabrica. I put the link in the description box below. And then I'll change the size. I'll click this lock icon first, and then change the size to 2.5 by 0.5, and then click make it, then click continue, and then I'll choose premium vinyl for my material. And there you have it! If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. All feedback is welcome and any feedback is good feedback. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials. See you in the next episode of DIY by Sass. Thanks for watching!